Well, as you have seen, uh, India has welcomed this deal, um, even though, uh, you know, uh, most of all, because even from the strategic point of view, we would not like to see more countries becoming uh, nuclear powers in our region, and Iran is a near neighbor. Uh, but on the, the immediate benefits and the somewhat medium-term benefits will flow in on the economic side. Straight away, we would be in a position to increase exports of pharmaceuticals, which are in very short supply in Iran, as also of products like rice, chicken, etc., which are the staple and are in short supply, and the prices have been going up. Um, immediately as well, our corporations could start looking for possibilities of project exports in rebuilding uh, infrastructure, etc., in Iran. Uh, we would also be able to resume progress on building the Chabahar port, uh, which would give India over time access into Afghanistan. We could start reviving all the plans that have basically been on hold for oil and gas pipelines from Iran through Pakistan and Afghanistan. But obviously, the situation in those two countries must also stabilize. Uh, we will be able to increase our oil and gas imports from Iran itself and we'll be able to release the, I think it's $9 billion of payment that we owe Iran but could not make because the financial transactions were not uh, permitted. Uh, as the uh, UN and uh, EU and US sanctions begin to be lifted, synchronized with uh, Iran fulfilling its obligations undertaken in this framework as well. Uh, there will be a much greater interaction between India and Iran and certainly of economic benefit to both countries.